the Pan-African University Institute for Basic Sciences, Technology and Innovation is to be a center of excellence or a melting pot of African scientists and innovators. Our mission as uh, the Institute is to produce uh, high caliber scientists. Our other mission is to form a strong network with leading centers carrying out research across the continent and also the world at large. We believe that African youths, when given the right skills, the right condition, can be incubated to groom and to grow innovative ideas that will change the continent. What we're doing here is we're bringing entrepreneurship into education to spur a new engine for economic growth and productivity. It was an absolute privilege for uh, IOP to win the bid uh, to implement on behalf of AFDB and the uh, Pan-African University, the Center of Excellence at uh, uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. And the reason why it's a privilege is that we've been in this space for the last 11 years. Uh, we're one of the very early tech hubs on the continent. I think Kyle was the very well, the very first well-known hub on the continent. And one thing that we've seen in that 11 years of doing the business is that for us to truly accelerate the application of innovation uh, uh, in solving significant problems on the continent that we most find really exciting ways to bring the academic institutions into, into the innovation ecosystem of the continent. But if you look at this, the history or the trajectory in the last 10 years, they, they've actually been excluded uh, beyond the fact that a lot of young people going into the universities are getting excited about digital technologies and digital innovation. And a lot of them are picking up careers within the tech space. The actual institutions are actually not connected. So this force was uh, a no-brainer. It was an exciting opportunity to start to help to grow a part of our ecosystem. The center has put forward uh, different measures how we are going to drive innovation. And the first is to facilitate creative thinking and and collaborative problem solving among students. We have different ways we, go, we do that. And the second way is to encourage, support, and promote technology innovations. And the third way that we, we want to drive innovation is to serve as a living lab for prototyping and, and testing of new, new ideas, innovations from the Pausti community. We have different programs that students are going to be engaged in. One of them is the entrepreneurship master classes. They are specially designed master classes that aim at giving all students a solid foundation to the art of problem solving and innovation. The second one is innovation challenges. These are challenges that we obtain from our industry partners and, and post them to students to solve for about three months with the support and, and collaboration of the industry partners. And the third one is hackathons. These are short-term projects that we give to students in certain problem areas that they can solve in about uh, two days of intense uh, problem-solving exercises. The Center of Excellence is on benefit to me in the sense that they are helping us to uh, refine our idea, moving from the problem statement to the solution that we are proposing. Expecting that the Center of Excellence will be a place where the student can build their ideas, that the Center of Excellence will definitely help to turn those ideas in businesses, support them all through from the time they start to think about the idea to its implementation in their various countries. We want to create a host of partnerships with organizations, with institutions, with government parastatals who can actually leverage the expertise of, of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology uh, to accelerate innovation within the organization and society. But we're also not going to stop there. Part of our strategy is that as we build these partnerships and networks, we also want to be able to partner with some of the best organizations in the world outside of Africa, both within and outside of Africa, because we believe that through this sort of collaboration, there will be opportunity for knowledge sharing. 
most importantly as well, opportunity for joint uh, collaborative research that can leverage your knowledge and expertise from you know, other countries in the world, but also that of what we have in Kenya and the rest of Africa, and as such, be able to use that to accelerate uh, the application of science and technology in solving